I'm Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical gold and silver company. And you guys know that I believe when it comes to your money or any of your wealth, if you don't hold it, you really don't own it. And perception doesn't really matter. And that's why I've put together a strategy that anybody that you talk to here, any of the consultants have been trained on the strategy that I'm executing for myself, but it's just tweaked and customized to you because we specialize in protecting a hundred percent of your wealth and assets. And what a concept having it last forever. So today we're going to do some questions that came in from viewers. And I'm going to start with, with Stone Azell, and I hope I don't butcher anybody's name, but, uh, Stone says, hello, Ms. Zhang. I've come to admire your great knowledge. Thank you very much. Will the currency pertain to world currencies revaluing and having a level playing field against the U S dollar? Well, it definitely does pertain to global fiat currencies. But, and then yes, actually at the end, I think what we are most likely to see are local currencies. And then there will still be a world reserve currency. We'll see which one that's going to be. But my bet is that it will be the SDR or the special drawing rights of the IMF, the international monetary fund, because that is a basket of currencies and it's been around since 69. So it makes all the sense. And of course they tested in 2009 and they've been tweaking it. But, um, that seems to me to be the most logical world reserve currency. And so therefore, yes, every local currency would be on the same, on the same, uh, playing field, so to speak. And Matt Ruth asks, Enjoy your videos. Thank you. Have a question regarding what you said about the government not allowing us to convert gold into us dollars. Hmm. Don't, I don't know that I said that, but what does that do to the gold miners, silver miners? Does mining become nationalized? What that would that cause a revolution? Thanks. Uh, actually what I said was that 6,000 years of history has proven that a hundred percent of the time you could always convert gold into any other currency or good or service, but you could not always convert fiat currencies into gold. And interestingly enough, in an interview that I did last week, I found out that, you know, China has been experimenting with the digital yuan and you cannot convert the digital yuan into gold. So, uh, now as far as does mining become nationalized? Well, Ernst and Young runs an annual report and I haven't frankly looked at it for this year, but, uh, mine nationalization has been in their top 10 issues for miners since 2008. And what that means, there's all different ways to nationalize. You don't have to say we're nationalizing it necessarily, but they can add extra tariffs, et cetera, et cetera. I think that where we get the nationalization and what this really mean for miners is more, uh, after the reset, when the most likely outcome, cause it's happened over 4,800 times is that they will put a component of gold into that new world reserve currency to stabilize it and get people to trust it and use it again. Uh, but my nationalization has been in the top 10 issues for miners since 2008. I don't think that's going away. And as this whole piece evolves, you know, I think that could become a bigger issue for miners. So would that cause a revolution? I think we're already in a revolution. You can see that as you look around the world and certainly look around the country to all of the protests and the rising populism, et cetera. And you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again. 
the energy, and if anybody was around in the 70s when we were dealing with the Vietnam War and civil rights and women's lib and the oil embargo and you know high inflation and the stock markets, etc., there's the same kind of energy reset, reshifting um, energy that's happening right now. I remember it really well. You could you could almost smell it and think about it. For anybody that's viewing, can't you feel that change energy that's in the air? And uh, John Good asks, information from your SBTV interview is a self-directed all allocated IRA and gold and silver a safe bet going forward or are there concerns? Bail-in, confiscation? Well, okay, let's think about this for a minute. Because the reality is, even if you have it in an allocated account, which means that it's segregated from the rest, from the pooled gold, there is always a, a, a concern around confiscation should the governments choose to do an overt confiscation. Because the goal right now is not in having you hold on to your wealth, I mean, listen to Jay Powell talk about the need, and all the global central bankers talk about the need for higher inflation. What they're really telling you is that the currency is overvalued and they've got to take it down. And history has also shown us, I mean, you bring up Balin. Wait until you see the piece, which I was going to do last week, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. So I'm planning on doing it um, this week on getting set up for the bail-in, which is a confiscation of your wealth. But inflation is that confiscation. Now, the so that's one reason why if you don't hold it, you don't own it, regardless of what your perception is. I personally do not have a gold or silver. I don't have an IRA. I have a retirement plan but I control that and it's out of the system. If you hold it in an IRA, it's still inside the system, which can be okay during certain periods of time, but I don't think this is one of them because we're resetting the entire global system. Additionally, think about it. An IRA, the way they set it up, what they knew is that people would look at it and if you've got 100,000 in there, you go, well, I have 100,000 there. I don't want to pay the taxes, but you're never going to escape paying the taxes. Considering the fact that gold is so severely, and silver as well, is so severely undervalued, what do you, and you pay taxes on the distribution of it unless it's done in a Roth, but in a typical self-directed IRA, would you rather pay the taxes on it at this price level or would you rather pay the taxes on it at a much higher price level? Because remember, part of the brilliance of the whole uh, tax scheme and inflation scheme is that the government gets to charge you taxes on assets that they have inflated. So personally, I paid my taxes. And, you know, and it was, I was, when we moved into the third phase, that's when I no longer felt comfortable holding wealth inside the system. So, you know, I paid my taxes, I paid my penalties, and I personally am very glad I did because that's not something I have to think about. So two issues with an IRA, and you've got to remember, you've got to do what you are most comfortable doing, but there's a reason why they, why they pick and choose what you can hold in an, inside of an IRA. And I personally find it really interesting when gold coins, foreign gold coins, you know, old gold coins, those are all standardized, the weight. So you can't hold those in an IRA, but you can hold a Bitcoin in an IRA. I mean, kind of think about that. I think it's really interesting that they specify what kind of gold and what kind of silver you can hold in an IRA. Personally, if I can hold, I, I'm not as concerned about confiscation with silver, but with gold, I am. And so if I can hold it in an IRA, I'm not holding it outside of an IRA. I'm making different choices that are 
a lot more um, private and potentially a lot safer. And Chris asks, which country has the best chance to weather the reset and prosper over the next 10 years or so? I don't know, Chris, because this is a global issue and everybody, every country, every fiat, government-based, debt-based currency, the whole global system has to reset. So, I mean, I've chosen to make my last stand here in the US and here in Arizona. And I think that no matter where you are, you really need to be as self-sufficient and independent as possible. That means food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, and shelter. These are things that we all need regardless of if the economy is doing well or the economy is not doing well. So you need to just get it done wherever you feel comfortable. I would never leave my children or my grandchildren. So to me, that would be, you know, the best place to be, but you just need to be as independent and self-sufficient as possible, no matter where you are. And Brian asks, if you really do need to leave, where would you go? Well, I would go someplace that is like close enough where I can develop a level of community, but that gives me, that is not in a big city, not in a space that I can't, um, you know, I'd go out. I mean, I would go out more in the country but you do want a little bit of community around you because there is strength in numbers. And this week, I'm really excited because I get to have a coffee with Lynette with Egon Von Greers, my good friend. And there's so much to talk about since the last time that we met. And next week, oh yay, good. I'm going to be with Wolf Richter, who you know I use a lot of his work. The man is brilliant. Both of these men are brilliant. So these should be two great coffee with Lynette's. I love it. Now, if you have any questions about this or anything else, just send them in to questions at itmtrading.com. And remember, I post a blog as well as all of the links to all of my research material and the images on itmtrading.com forward slash blog. And if you want to talk to one of our consultants, just go ahead and click on that Calendly link and set up a time. If the time that you want is not available, call us 888-696-4653 and we'll get you with a consultant at the time that really works for you. And really, can I say this? Time is of the essence. And 100%, it is time to cover your assets. And you do that with the Wealth Shield, which is made up of physical gold, physical silver that is outside of the system. And all of our consultants can help you figure out what you need to support your goals and your best interest. So until next we meet, Please be safe out there. Bye-bye.